Microsoft's about to release the latest version of Windows 10 called Redstone 4, and with it comes progressive web apps. Today, I'm going to show you the first one that's available. It's Twitter. Stay tuned. Okay, before we get started, if you don't know what a progressive web app is or PWA and how it differs from a traditional web wrapper, well, that's okay. I did a whole other video explaining it, so go check that out first. Now, for those of you who are on the Windows Insider program, Twitter is gonna be the first PWA app you can download. In fact, it'll just update the existing Twitter app to this new format. So here it is, the Twitter progressive web app. Now, why is this so interesting? Well, this is actually Edge, right? So this is running mobiletwitter.com through what looks like an app. And it's a little bit more than a web wrapper. For instance, it doesn't have any browser controls to it. It feels like a native app, it has its own icon, it launches from the program list and everything. Now, it's not all complete yet. This is still a very beta. They're putting this out there for insiders to try right now. I'm running this on 17.133, and they're going to get feedback on it. One of the main features of PWA is not even on yet, that's service workers. So that's coming on when Redstone 4 actually launches in early April. It'll be turned on through the store. That'll allow things like push notifications, offline caching, and more features that makes this a true app to come online. So right now, it doesn't work like that. Scrolling is very good. If you haven't tried Edge yet for Redstone 4, the browsing experience is much better, and you get that all here. So it's very smooth and fast. In fact, I just tried Twitter through Chrome OS, and this is actually way better. Now, not everything works. So when you go to post a tweet, you can do photos, you can do your GIFs, you can do a poll but you can't control paste an image into this yet. So that's one of the features that's coming online a little bit later. There's also no dark mode yet. We expect that to come too. And you can't upload videos, but again, that'll be coming on later. As Twitter themselves explain, a lot of people don't upload videos from the PC to Twitter, but they will be bringing that feature there as well. Don't forget, all this stuff is brand new for both Twitter and Microsoft. PWAs have really not launched in the marketplace yet, so they're figuring this stuff out. And Microsoft is figuring it out, how it works with UWP but it should be pretty neat, especially what's cool is you don't need to upgrade the app through the store. This will get updates through the web and it'll just come through by refreshing the app, but you do get a dedicated icon. This will be getting push notifications that come through the Action Center and a lot more features, but overall right now, it feels really nice. It's very responsive, it's quick, it doesn't crash, and it looks very familiar to all those who run Android or any other version of Twitter. Now, one of the weird UI instances is two back buttons, as you can see here. Uh, if you use Android and Twitter, that's actually pretty familiar. Not really sure how they'll solve that here, but that's just one of the weird UI consistencies. They both work. I actually prefer using the one for the app itself. But uh, as you can see here, everything plays fine, just as expected. So pretty solid start to Twitter, but we'll have to see how the app evolves over the coming weeks and months. So there's a quick look at the first progressive web app to hit the Microsoft Store. Now, Twitter is available for all those currently on Redstone 4. And if you're still in a Fall Creators update, you should be getting this OS update later in April. When you do, you'll just be able to go to the store and download Twitter, and you'll get what I showed you today. Now, if you have any questions about this app, leave them below, and I'll try to answer them. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.